guys, welcome to today's video. Today I have two new additions that I want to introduce to you. So the first one is this girl, this is Bramble, and she is a chocolate tan pied female mouse. So considering where she came from and the fact that she's probably only been handled a few times in her life, it's going really well. She's very curious and she is very willing to be handled and she is starting to just hop up onto my hand, which is really good. She also really loves digging around in all of the bedding they have and she really loves playing with all of the toys I've given them. I don't really think they ever had that many toys where they were before, so they have been having a really good time playing with all of the toys that I put into their temporary cage. And the second girl that I adopted is Sprig here. She is an agouti pied female, but she does have a tiny bit of tan on the underside of her agouti markings. So although it's not the reason I picked her, she does somewhat resemble my first ever mouse fig. So I did want to name her something that would kind of honour his memory, so that's why her name is Sprig, because it does sound similar to Fig, so I really wanted to name her something to honour him, because she does resemble him, and a lot of you have picked up on that, and said how much she reminds you of Fig, so even though that's not the reason I picked her out, I am really glad that she resembles him, because I do miss him, and this is one of my favourite markings to have on a mouse or on a rat too. So I've just put her back because she is a lot more reserved than Bramble, but she is still doing really well with handling. And one thing she really enjoys is her wheel. I'm not sure. I don't think they ever had a wheel where they came from. So as soon as I put them in and she found the wheel, she's been running on it ever since. So she really loves running and especially on her wheel. She's very active and she's really fun to watch. So just for a bit of backstory, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know I have three mice already, Pebble, Opal and Pearl, and they are all coming up to being about a year old. So a few months ago I started thinking about getting some more mice. As my girls are starting to age and they are coming up to being about a year old, I really wanted to introduce some younger mice to them, because it is really important to keep female mice in groups. I wanted to make sure I always had a consistent group going with my female mice. So this became even more important to me recently because I discovered that one of my mice, Pebble, has developed a tumour under her throat and I also recently found that she has one on her back as well. So this did become increasingly important to me because this is the sad reality of owning mice and I was starting to plan ahead for this but I really didn't want Opal and Pearl to be alone as a pair. I really wanted to keep them as a group. So it became even more important to me to make sure that I got more mice before the inevitable and something terrible happens to Pebble. She is doing really well right now, the tumours aren't bothering her, but I am prepared for the worst to happen and I did want to make sure that I had more female mice to add into my group before something like that did happen. So I saw the advert for these girls many, many months ago, I think it was back in February, and I've been trying to adopt them ever since. They did have to be kept back and held back because of accidental pregnancies. So it has taken me this long to actually be able to adopt them because obviously I couldn't adopt them if they had young babies with them. So this has been months and months in the process but I have finally been able to adopt them. So they were in a rescue center about an hour away from where I live and they were the result of a pet store selling a family to pregnant female mice. And this obviously got out of hand. This resulted in over 40 mice needing home, so I adopted two of these. So at the time when I went to view my two girls, I did only pick out two mice. A lot of the females were still caring for young, so obviously I couldn't take them away from their babies. But I think most of these females are probably looking for homes at the time of filming this. They do still have over 40 mice there, and a lot of these are males, which can be really hard to find homes for. So if you're looking to adopt a male mouse or you do want some females, please check them out, I will leave them linked in the description. You can have a look at their Facebook posts about the mice. And if you're thinking of getting mice, please consider them as an option because they do have a lot of mice that would really benefit from getting their forever home. So yeah, I've had these girls for about a week now. They have been living separately to my other girls, but health-wise there's nothing I'm concerned about and I am really happy with their progress. So taming them is going really well, obviously after they settled in I started working on taming them and considering where they came from and the fact that they've probably only been handled a few times in their life to move between cages, anything like that, they have been doing really well. So at first when I put my hand in they would squeak and run away because obviously it is very scary to them but they started to learn that my hand isn't a bad thing and that if they jump onto it 
they get to go to a new place. So they've started to learn that I'm not that scary. And Bramble especially has started to learn that popping up onto my hand is okay. Sprig is a little bit more scared, but she does also sometimes hop up onto my hand. So overall, I'm really happy with their progress. I really wasn't expecting them to be this inclined to being tamed. I really just expected them to not be that bothered with me, but they are really curious. And when I do come into the room, they come up to the cage, which is really nice. So I do obviously plan on introducing them to my current girls in about a week's time. And I'm not too sure how it's gonna go. This will be my first time introducing mice to each other. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it goes. So Pebble's health obviously isn't the best, but her tumours aren't affecting her behaviour. She's still acting as normal, eating, drinking, running around, everything, so I'm not too worried about her during the introductions. But I think it is really important to introduce them all soon rather than later, just to make sure they can all live as a group before something bad happens. But I'm really excited to have these girls living in the Detolf. I think they'll really enjoy having all of the space. And they've been so grateful to have all of the toys I've given them so far. So I'm really excited to see what they think of the Detolf and having all of these things to explore. But yeah, in terms of this video, I just wanted to introduce you to them, let you know their names. I love them so much already and I really hope you love them too. I also just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you over on Patreon, especially all of my $5 patrons, Craig, Brooklyn and Chloe. And also my $10 patrons, Colleen, Ashley and Rachel. I love talking to all of you over on Patreon, you guys are the best. Their support over on Patreon has been a massive help when it comes to bringing these girls home. And it's also the place where you get to see them first and you get to find out their name before anyone else. So if you are interested in becoming a patron and supporting us on Patreon, the links that will be down in the description and also in the iCards above. But that is it for today's video guys. Don't forget to subscribe to see any future animal related videos from us. And we'll see you on our next one. Bye. Say bye. She's off. Say bye, Sprig. <laughs>